He stood in the doorway and looked up and big, surprised look on his face said, Someone pooped in my pants. Someone pooped in my pants. I have seven grandchildren and one new one on the way. And only two of them so far are not potty trained. Meaning, all the others, when they really need to go to the bathroom, they'll tell you, I need to go. Or the older ones will just go. But it would really be shocking to me if any of those who are potty trained, who know how and when and where to go to the potty on their own, were to come to me and say, someone pooped in my pants. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. Maybe you haven't made the declaration, someone pooped in my pants, but I'd be willing to bet at some time in your life you have either said or at least thought to say, I don't know how this happened. This happened to me. Someone did this to me. I had nothing to do with it. And I want to challenge you today as leaders that there are a whole lot of circumstances in life that you have no control over. You can't predict the weather, <clears throat> and even if you could predict it like a great meteorologist, you can't stop it, you can't change it, there's nothing you can do about it. So what you can do is be prepared for whatever might come to the best of your ability and resources, and then control yourself when it comes to how you react to that. Will you lose your mind and emotionally be unstable? Will you become angry and frustrated and irritated with everybody around you when circumstances don't work out the way you want? Will you go on a three-week bender drinking every weekend until your mind is absolutely numb from the pain of circumstances you can't control? See, as a leader, you're responsible for self-control. Sure, things are going to happen around you. Life is going to happen around you. I tell people all the time, when you're aiming for success, remember that you're the arrow in the bow. And in order for you to fly far, the tension of that bow has to be pulled back. And there's a recurve bow that might shoot an arrow against a wall and it'll fall to the floor unless it's a really strong bow, but then there's a compound bow. And when you pull that sucker back, it exponentially increases the launch power against the weight that you have to pull back. But if you're aiming for success, long before the arrow goes forward, it has to go back. Circumstances in your life are gonna draw you back. Things and people around you who want to see you succeed know that you've got to be pulled back before you can be fired forward. Yeah, there are gonna be things in your life that are gonna look like and feel like setbacks. Don't allow yourself to look at those setbacks, those drawbacks, the drawing of the bow. Don't allow those to become the moments that you find yourself giving up, that you find yourself bowing out. And don't let those become the moments where you look at the circumstances in your life and go, someone pooped in my pants. The circumstances may be like that load in your pants. You're also going to have to ask yourself this question. Is there any chance that those circumstances in my life right now are the result of my behavior, my choices, my decisions from before? It's real easy to look at the circumstances and go, well, I didn't cause the car accident. Well, you didn't cause the car to pull out in front of you, if that's what you mean, but... Are your tires in good shape? Are your brakes in good shape? Are your air shocks in good shape? Because all of those things will determine whether or not your vehicle can stop on time. And if you're not properly maintaining the quality of your car, that's the area where you had control and you failed to use it. I talked several times about Bill Hybels and the Global Leadership Summit. And while I don't know all the details, Here's what I do know. At some point in time, Mr. Hybels was accused of inappropriate behavior. 
That would have been the time to say, I will change the way I act, talk, and behave because I don't want to be accused of that again. And if I need to apologize, if I need to change the way that I do things, if I need to show up someplace else and do something different, I will. Billy Graham was never accused of those things. Billy Graham was never in an elevator with a female. And Billy Graham had the television removed from every hotel room he ever traveled to because he didn't want even the appearance of inappropriate behavior or decisions. Decide now how you will act when circumstances are not what you want them to be. That, too, is part of self-control. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day.